So we're going to look at um, our intake, our storage capability at Raven Lake for our hydroelectric plant at Strathcona Park Lodge. So we have about three dams that have some storage capability in uh, the Cedar Creek Basin. And this we call Raven Lake. And this is uh, our, one of our finished structures. It actually basically is replacing a beaver dam. So to put this structure in, we just cleaned up the beaver dam and the outflow of the lake for the, for the log jam here and we had, didn't have to flood anything in the lake above the natural high water park. So we look back at the lake, we have a full lake today, and the lake is natural. There's no dead trees, no cutting around this lake. We're just holding the, the water level at the maximum elevation for longer. So this lake naturally might go dry um, in the spring at this time of year, where we've stored about a meter and a half of water on it, and then we'll slowly let the water out over the summer months to allow us to keep our power plant running through the summer months through this amount of storage. So we tried to have very little footprint of ecological damage. On this dam, you know, the, the wildlife can get through here. We have a fish passage for the trout to get back and forth over this dam. So when there is water flowing, they can actually passage over a fish passage. We actually have um, managed to trick the beavers to not to let them raise the lake higher. We actually, out in the middle of the lake behind me here, we have about 200 feet of uh, pipe with holes in it buried under gravel, so when we actually want to flow water through, the beavers can't figure out where the water goes. So it stops them from building a new dam in this site and raising the water level higher to flood the lake higher and allows us to use the water when we need it in the summer months. So we keep the lake deeper for longer and then we leave it slowly through the late summer and allows us to have water right through the year. Uh, and hydropower for 12 months is what always the goal and we've had this 25 years and this improvements here um, have been in place about seven or eight years. We've been tinkering around with them and things, and uh, we're continuing to work on some of the, you know, figuring out the fist passage on other spots, trying to get them through. Because there isn't actually natural trout in these lakes, but they did introduce them, and now they're here. We're trying our best to actually give them the best habitat to be healthy. So, and we have, I think, some success so far, and we have some, some other ideas to improve on that success as we continue to, to improve this. So certainly this particular dam we're quite proud of. It's worked out quite well, given us the storage, solved the different problems we have, and has been able to withstand some big flood events without any damage. So it's simple, but it does the trick.